What up? Good morning. Good Monday morning. Happy week, everybody. It's Val, and we're here in Valtopia. We've got some James Brown to start off our Monday. Some good mojo. Woo! And today, I, what I have for you is all about confidence. So let me turn off the James Brown and bring it, bring it, bring it. And I'm going to share this around. I was talking with a client today, and we had one session, and she's come into this level of confidence. And I thought, oh, we got to talk about this today because so many of us struggle with unworthiness, fraud syndrome, doubting ourselves, trying to please other people, trying to be perfect, all these things. So we're gonna talk about this today and we're gonna shift into confidence. So stay tuned, let me share this around. You can share too, please. And let's get into it. Yes, we do, yes, we do. Let me know you're here, let me know you're watching the playback. Tell me what you're up to. Are you an entrepreneur? Are you an artist? Are you, um, hi, Lamorla. Are you a messenger? Are you a creative visionary? What's your deal? Talk to me. All right, let me copy this and share. And let's bring it to you, yeah, yeah. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. All right, let me share this around. Get some crew going on a Monday morning, honey. And how many of you feel like you want to feel more confidence in what you're doing? Hey, Etta, how are you? Hey, honey. Hi, Miranda. Oh, that's a different video. I'm like talking to people who aren't here right now. Whatever. How are you, Etta? What's going on? Talk to me. All right, let me pull this up. We could all tune in to more confidence, for sure. Say good morning as you're coming in. I'm just sharing this around and we're getting it started. Yes. I feel so good, I had fun yes this weekend. I kind of took a step back yesterday, spent some time with my friend in Beverly Hills. It was good. Got my lashes done. Right? Hi, Pauline, how are you? What up, baby? We're getting it this morning. I'm just sharing around. One more place and then we begin. Yes, baby. And I will do a cosmic reading for um, the whole crew today. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Let me just share this to my page and get this started. Get this party started. Yeah, yeah. All right, so who wants to talk about confidence today? Who feels confident in themselves? And who would like to understand why we don't tune into our ultimate confidence? Hello, Susan. I am feeling all sexy, beastie, full of love. <laughs> hey, Michelle, how are you? Welcome, welcome, everybody. Ada says, I have five minute confidence. Yes, feeling good. I need to watch more of what you sent. Birthday party for the boy yesterday. Yes. Love to everybody. Good morning, good day, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, whatever it is, here we are. So maybe I should do a little watch party and that'll help us too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, here we go. Starting the watch party. Yeah. Yes. Let's have our Monday morning connection. Our, here we are together again, grounding and tuning into our heart, feeling all of our senses and all of our being and knowing that we are powerful creators. What we think about, what we believe, how we be and do, the people we be around affects everything about our resonance, our energy, and that ends up being what we're living. So this is what we're doing here on the Valtopia TV stream. We are tuning into our infinite being, our um, limitless possibilities, our ability to do and be anything and everything that our heart desires. And there's no shame or game, uh, no shame or blame or guilt in your game. You're here to be who you are. You, there's nobody like you. And so today we're talking about confidence. 
because this came up with a, with a client today. She had one session this weekend and we did some really powerful clearing on energetic ties that were deeply embedded, like stories that she knew in her family but hadn't released. And when we did the work of really um, unplugging and detaching from those stories and those, um, those unseen and even unfelt at times, you're feeling them but you're ignoring or bypassing them, attachments, and um, uh, we'll, we just don't feel like ourselves. When you come to me to work with me, or you're watching this stream and you're looking for upliftment and guidance, it's because you're not feeling like yourself and you know it. And the more that you can tune into that, that jarring sensation of, hey, this doesn't feel right to me, let me see what I can do to be curious about that feeling and, and find out what it is and make, make myself uh, come into a place that is feeling aligned to me, that is when things begin to shift. So I took notes so that I could continue this process <coughs> of being clear and sharing things in a clear way. So why, why do you not feel confidence? Those of you who are watching, how, how many of you know why you lose confidence or why you don't feel a wholeness about yourself that where you name it and claim it and you're bold? Talk to me, I want this to be an interactive experience for always. I want to connect with you guys, right? Let me see who's on the watch party here. All right. So here's the deal. We, our energy is scattered all over the place. And for those of you who are very highly aware and have come to really be a messenger, an artist, a creative visionary, we have a lot of energy streaming through us and until we do the work to really pay attention to our awareness at all the levels, not just the ones that are, have been condoned by our family and friends, but the ones that we are feeling called to that we might have suppressed or ignored or bypassed, our energy will be scattered other places. Your attention will be focused on something here and something there, and you'll be actually plugged into another timeline or another story somewhere else. And when your energy is scattered, and there's a piece of you here and a piece of you there and a piece of you over here and a piece of you over there, it is impossible to feel fully confident and whole and integrated within yourself, because you're not, and you're aware of that. So your lack of confidence can, and your lack of worthiness is merely, it's not an indication of that you're not good enough. It's an indication that you gotta do some work to bring yourself back into your wholeness. Do you guys feel me on this? Can I get some amens and love hearts? Cause this is good shit. So either through your thoughts or markers on your DNA that are warning you and causing you to be distracted and fearful where you're, um, you're distraction and your, yes, Michelle, your resistance is an indication that you are not tuning into your heart's desire and your integrated whole of you, that somewhere you've got a story going or a connection or a detachment from yourself. And this is the work that we do. And the, the, the thing about it is you can do a, a deep work with amazing mentors and journaling and, and excavate and until you find your medicine woman that's gonna come in and, and excavate the deepest, darkest attachments, um, and that means you attach to other places, times, things, beings, timelines, that you're not even aware of. And that comes from our DNA, right? We, are, we, are, we, we, know, we all know about epigenetics, and we all know um, that our DNA is like our code structure for who we are. And many of us have been operating for a long time on simple, the lowest base level strands of DNA. And anything that goes above that um, has been blocked off for centuries because of all the killing and scary shit that would go down if you tried to open up to it, okay? Now we're living in a time where you're allowed to open up to it. And in fact, you're, you're being called to. And the way you open up to it is to do the deep work with the cosmic guides that you're calling you. Cosmic guides that come through and allow you to open up those strands and tune into higher levels of yourself and to e connection to each other. And if your um, story and your DNA is very fearful, uh, subconsciously you will be finding 
that you're, you're not doing certain things, you're not making certain decisions, you're not allowing yourself to magnetize and attract to you what your soul is calling you to because you'll shut off at a certain point or you'll be scattered and anxious. And um, the anxiety is about you very well knowing that you're not in alignment and full integration and embodiment is who you are because you're scattered and you're living out a story of limitation. How does this resonate for you guys? Um, and we talked last week about perceptions and beliefs and deciding. So this idea of getting clear in your body is in your mind and your spirit is all about that clarity of your channel and unplugging and pulling all of yourself back into your a, a wonderful uh, supernova of magnetized energy a quantum field of creation rather than a scattered um, half-assed <laughs> uh, fearful stretched out energy that really doesn't provide any momentum of creation Yes, Susan, we do, yes. And I've done all this clearing and I'm doing more every day. Every day I do the work of connecting into the collective, allowing myself to say, hey everybody, I'm here, I'm showing up. What do we got today? Let me be of service today, what's the message today? And if anywhere that I'm feeling fear or disconnect from that soul being and that joy and that delight and that presence, I look at why, what is it? And if I need to cry out something, feel something, connect with someone, resolve something, I do, I do the work. I don't just sit there on it. And if, if, if I'm called to work with somebody or um, do something that seems unusual, I do it, because it's my guidance, right? Hi, Tanya. So, confidence, is the first thing that happens when my clients come through to work with me. It's the very first result of doing this powerful mode of clearing. And, you know, I think that the primary trait of the clearings that I do are that people don't know, like we've become so accustomed to feeling that way, we think we're doing better than we are. And when you receive a detachment and you unplug your receptors from those stories, and you release yourself from those bonds and ties that were secretly operating in the background, suddenly you have a stream and connection to your own highest being in the moment. And that's what, that's what allows you to feel so confident because you feel at home. First of all, you've got your energy back inside of your field and your awareness and integration. And you've also given back other people their energy. So they're getting theirs back when you do this work. When we do this inner work, our reflection shifts because you're actually doing your part to shift the dynamic of the energy and connection beyond yourself because we're all integrated, we're all connected. Hi, Annabelle. So um, who has questions about this uh, and, 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 and wants to talk about being more confident in your being? In your, in your integrated self, in your embodied self. When I say embodied, what that means is you're not ignoring feelings and sensations in your body and awareness, and you're allowing that clarity to come through you and that, that power of your divine self to resonate, and you're allowing yourself to connect with, with those who you're meant to. You're not suppressing and hiding from yourself. Yeah? So. Most people that begin this journey are overwhelmed by how much there is to do, right? We've got to do websites and we got to make cards and we got to connect with people. We got to define our message. We got to begin doing work. Yay, Michelle. Michelle, I will, I will tune in with you if you'd like in a moment. Um, you know, we, 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 I know for myself as an entrepreneur, we see so many things that we need to do to get started and we do a lot of stuff. But really, before you do any of that stuff, every time you do it, it's vital that you get clear and confident within yourself first. And the confidence comes from the clarity. And the clarity comes from doing a, a sweep of your own awareness, of your own energy field, of your own mind, body, and being. And for many of us, especially those of us who've been through trauma or abuse, or situations where we were really ass kissing, we were pleasing other people, because many of us who are highly aware develop a lifetime 
of living in other people's energy because it's easier to do that than to tune into ourselves. And so when we begin this work and we want to serve others and help save the world and begin our online business, we tend to focus on the things we think we need to do and really where we need to start is inside. Inside, in your own clarity, in your own connection to yourself, in your own release of any stories, any attachments, any place where you're still thinking um, anything other than, fuck yeah, I got this, I'm meant to do this, and this is what I'm bringing through. Out of sheer knowing, right, and confidence. Confidence in your business. I'd love to talk about confidence in my business, in our business, Tanya. Um, so, <clears throat> you know, that was what I was just speaking to actually, Tanya, because we feel like when we do all these, do all these things, that's going to make us feel more confident. And for sure, you have to ground the magic, right? There are um, requirements for connecting to your people and <laughs> actually doing the business, right? But, but the confidence starts with your own um, uh, deepest connection to your desire and trusting yourself and backing in and believing yourself. So if you find that in your business you're feeling unworthy or fraudulent, you're not, you're not having a sense of trust and faith. So your work is to find out why. And sometimes that's because you've had a bad experience. Sometimes it's because you've had a bad experience in other lives and that energy's guiding you in your DNA. So you have to do the work of clearing and uh, deactivating those programs and awakening new ideas in yourself that help align to who you really are, not who you've come to know yourself to be. So your business is a reflection of you and your inner belief of yourself, right? How does that resonate, Tanya? And Michelle, tell me about your um, journey with confidence, like what you're looking to discover here today. Um, since you raised your hand, and I love that you did. And the number, you know, it's just amazing when you allow yourself to have a fully refreshed, rebooted energy system that is resonating for you, your perspective changes. And I think that that was one of the hardest things for me to really understand, even though I, I took it on board. My first year, I really did just focus on my vibration, my love quotient, my self-love, my spiritual connection. And I manifested a lot of things rapidly. And then as I really got into my business, I really started focusing on the doing of the business. Like I talked about the website, the blogs, the Facebook lives, the connection in the groups. And um, you know, all that stuff is important to learn and you will achieve much more rapid, deep, profound results as you just do that stuff on a daily or however you're scheduled but the most vital and important thing is to do the inner work of deciding and knowing yourself and trusting and believing and backing yourself. Because when you show up in that energy for yourself first, it, it just resonates with the people you're meant to connect with. And if you can't find that clarity when you're looking for your message or doing the work of, of calling in your clients, there's more work to do and not busy work mindset, connection to, to your ideas. And a lot of the work that we do in this messenger experiences I have with my clients is just dropping, like speaking out the bullshit that's in your mind, that's running around, the little thought forms that you have going. We break them down real fast. And then we get into the energy. And, um, and when that energy shifts, which is really quite an instant shift. Uh-oh, Michelle. Um, that confidence just comes through. I have clients who signed up for one thing that has to do more with lifestyle, and then they are booking higher, uh, higher paying, much more soul aligned clients because their whole energy system shifted and their vibration shifted. And the ones that were there before are no longer like they just fall away and new people come in because you know, you're glowing from within you're radiating that connection to divine. This is the most important thing we need to remember as faith-based entrepreneurs, as artists, creators, people who believe in life and living and choosing life. We are not alone. You are not doing this alone. Not only do we have each other, but 
we're doing this in co-partnering, co-part, <laughs> why can't I do this? Co-partnering with the divine, right? We, we are allowing ourselves to do the work on ourselves, to be clear, to be an open vessel, to receive inspiration. And when we receive that inspiration and, and, and let that idea come through and then name it and claim it in confidence because we're connected to our divine source, which is us, as we do the meditation, as we do the inner work, as we work with guides like me who help you get clear, then you're trusting in faith beyond just little old you, because it's not just little old you. That's where people get fucked up and get into egotistical, um, fear-based operations and, and operating at less than their limitless selves, because you're not tuning into your limitless self. Does that make sense? Tanya says, love that faith-based entrepreneurs. Yeah, we really are. And if I forget that, then I'm not being in the same space of creation that I can be. And then I struggle. And then it's an uphill battle because I'm just working with this little pea brain here. When you turn into your whole, tune into your whole body and being, your heart, your heart's so powerful. Hi, Tanya. And your heart beating and connected and knowing to other hearts that are beating and connecting. And we tune into our telepathic abilities to know each other and feel each other and resonate with each other. You're not alone, you're not alone. So your faith and your confidence comes from clearing the muck that's keeping you from your own most perceptive awareness of what's happening right now. Not what happened for your grandparents, not what happened for your parents, not what's been predictable and um, is probable. No, what you came to do and be and were born to bring about with your very presence and being, you've got to get clear. That's where the confidence comes from, right? So, hi, Tanya, thank you. Love from Canada. So, Michelle, I asked you um, about, you know, you raised your hand about confidence, and I'd love to hear what your, where you feel like you need more confidence or why you feel like you can't, you, you want support with it. Let's, let's tuck into this. Let's have a hot seat. Let's, let's, like, make the magic. Let's do this. Hey, Abe. How are you? Um, so I'm gonna do a little reading for the collective while we're tuning into this energy. You need that reminder. Yes, we all need reminders. We all keep forgetting who we are. And um, we, it's a daily process of coming back into renewal and regeneration, right? And listen, I want you guys to know that I have this incredible 30-day container 5k in 30 days this is for those of you that are already making 1 to 2k um, or ready to invest in experiencing 30 days with me one to one with um, three other people we already have one spot taken there's two spots left and this is good what we're gonna do day to day we're gonna tune into all this energy the tightness that comes up in your throat in your chest in your root in your beingness and where you're telling yourself bullshit stories of why you can't why you shouldn't where you don't even know you have hidden subconscious stories keeping you from your clarity and your confidence. This is what we're gonna be doing in this container. And I'm so excited about it because I have made 5K in 30 days a bunch of times consistently. And I was holding back <laughs> because I um, had my own story about talking about money or um, claiming you know that somebody can make it somebody else can make money in a certain time and that's fucking bullshit this is uh, about us really being specific in our intentions setting that intention creating that container and I'm providing a space for you to grow yourself beyond your upper limit story or your lack of confidence story or your attachment to the past story or your other people don't prove but I know what I need and why can't they hear me or see me story or I need to open up my third eye and be more in tune with my gift story. Whatever your story is, we will get to it and we will shift it and you will achieve this goal. So, um, and we're gonna have fun while we do it because that's what we do, right? We have fun and we go deep, we cry, we laugh. Most of all, we transform in the most powerful way. My clients all shift extremely rapidly and powerfully um, because I give it my all. We're, we're in concert with the divine. It's not me, we're, I'm a channel. We are working with uh, quite a powerful team of elders that comes through me <laughs> and our collective divine connections, right? So somebody has a really, ooh, a really tight chest happening here. 
So who feels that energy in here? Woo, I feel it. So let's do a little collective reading here just for the whole, and then I will probably go live in my free group, Viltopia. If you haven't joined, you should. Let me put the link on here. Baltopia. Honey, I went to Beverly Hills yesterday and I got my lashes done and I got to hang out with my lady that does the lashes and my dog had a play date and played with all these other little doggies and I got all these new clothes from her. It was really fun. All right, so let me see what's coming through this collective uh, group. Yes, it's time for you to reflect on your energy, your body and your being and to allow yourself to make decisions that might feel scary but that you know are going to change your life and bring you into uh, the results that you've been calling in there's no more stagnating here prepare to receive prepare to receive as you reflect and own your presence and own your frequency get clear get connected to your most vital and powerful self and call in exactly what you desire and feel that confidence of believing and backing in yourself because you're no longer clouded and confused by misconceived perceptions, beliefs, thoughts, stories. We can shift it all, and we do, every day. You feel me? Let's see what comes through the diagnostic deck here. I love it, I love it. Look at this, universe. We're all connected. That has been my whole message today, that you're not alone and we are connected energetically and spiritually and on all the levels. And it's when we tune into that connection that we're productive and then we allow ourselves to bring forward what we're meant to. And when we surrender, I mean, the cards are just saying what I was telling you guys, the surrender to that divine presence that's within each of us and that we're allowed to and blessed to connect with each other. And you know, um, a few years ago, I wasn't speaking this language or talking about divine connection or being blessed and things like that. And I can imagine that there are people watching me that know me that would love to have the results and success that I've achieved um, and then also don't think they resonate with that. And I'm inviting you to realize it's just your creative spark and love for life. It's your life force. It's your vitality. It's, it's it, la, la, no judgment. It's just a, a, a powerful force of life within you that you're allowed to tap into. And when you get rid of the guilt and the shame and the fear and the obligation, oh my gosh, you just blossom open. You can see I'm glowing, I'm reverse aging, and so are my clients, and so are the people that I connect with. This work that we do is fucking amazing. You feel me? So the last card is the Trinity, the Three of Wands, being tuned in to the earth, your heart and the cosmos, and your mother, father, and inner child, right? This is what it's about. So let me leave you with the question card, and do any of you guys have any questions while I'm live? Talk to me. Hello, everybody, and let me know if you're watching the playback. Okay, look at this, Tanya. Of course, the cards are all, I do need to do readings today. Everything's coming right on point. Why do I need to trust? Why can I trust? Confidence is about trust. And confidence doesn't tr come from you getting proof first and then getting, uh, then trusting. Confidence comes from deciding and connecting into the feeling of trust and letting yourself leap into that and then be in that space. You are the creator of your experience in concert with divine and trust is essential, essential. Otherwise you'll just stay right where you are. Right? What do you guys have to say? Any feedback? All right, let's do a fuck yeah card for the last. And I would love to know which one of you are gonna reach out for these last two spots. There's only two spots left. Oh, look at this. Oh my God, it's so good. <laughs> Today's reading is just spot on. Leap and embody. That's what we're doing in this 30-day container. That's what we're doing in all of my containers and my spaces. You're leaping into faith about yourself and embodying what you truly desire. And you're gonna quit 
this story that you can't have what you want or that it's too big or it's only for other people or that, you know, all those little stories that keep coming back, we're going to clear that shit. So it's not even like you won't even be able to tap into the feeling of that anymore. You won't even be able to resonate with that sense of weakness that was your story because it's not you. It's other people in your field and old stories that you're plugged into. So you unplug yourself from those stories. You clear those people from your field and you have a completely different experience of yourself. It happens every time. Who would like to experience this right now? This feeling of self-residence and release of attachment to these old stories yes tanya who is somebody who's never tuned in with me before that's watching the stream right now i would love for you to volunteer and say i would like to know what that feels like and we're gonna do it right now and of course if you're empathic you'll tap in and you'll feel it too ending attachments yeah michelle how are you doing it and would you like me to tune in with you? Are you the one? Are you the one today? Yay, Michelle does. All right. All right. So thank you for um, letting me connect with you. Okay. One moment, please, while I clean up our space. Just one moment, please. Thank you. There's, there's no space for um, sad people who aren't here to join in our space. All right, thank you. Blocked, blocked and released to his own sad pain. Let's all say a blessing for Robert who says I look like a guy and fuck you, whatever. All right, so Michelle, let me tune in with you. Hi, Krista Mae, how are you? Fatty, baby, absolutely. Just clearing the energy for a moment, thank you. Right, honey? Let's put some love on that hot spot, that sad spot. It, it, like, it's good to get uh, visible and, and you find people coming in your space and I'm at zero tolerance policy for bullshit in this beautiful space that we're creating. Um, okay. I have, I know, Chris, I have plenty of love and attention. I'm not worried about it. <laughs> okay, Michelle, um, let's clear that energy and let me tune in with you. And I want you to put your feet on the ground and I want you to really feel present in your own awareness. And um, let me just be sure that the energy I'm feeling isn't from our little <laughs> moment there. Now I'm gonna do a little tone to clear the energy and then come into your field and let me know when you feel me tuning in. I think I had to, I thought I had blocked and I wasn't really blocked. So, I just wanna be safe. I want you guys to feel like you can express yourselves in a safe way and, and not be harassed by low level um, <laughs> amoebas. All right, so, um, Michelle, let me do a tone here. All right, Michelle, let me know when you feel me tuning in. And as you feel me tuning in, I want you to feel what shifts for you in your energetic vibration as we're connected. I love this card for you, it's so funny. So perfect, the cards are really perfect today. If anybody wants to book a reading today, I would. I, have, I am kid free and uh, my channel is clear and wide open right now and I'm looking forward to reading you. You can book a 
you can book a reading for 222. It's a virtual 20 minute reading. Or um, it, through, upon approval, you can book one clearing session for 333 and have a, a five days of support only if I approve you. Because if you have a lot of work to do, we need to do longer than one session. I won't get you started on this clearing process and leave you in the middle of being held wide open and not continue to integrate and embody the shifts that happen because it's powerful stuff. Okay, yes, I feel your heart expanding and I feel some resistance as it's expanding. Do you feel that? Like almost like it hurts a little bit? Do you feel that? So breathe into your heart space, Michelle. Oh, I love it. Good, okay, keep letting it open. And I want you to ground the energy. I want you to, do you feel the energy running at your feet? And of those of you who are watching, do you feel this energy shifting as well? Hi, Holly, how are you? I'm doing fantastic, honey. We're doing a little uh, interactive session here with um, Michelle Tingley. That's the energy, that's you being grounded. So this is me, this is how it is to work with me on the day to day when we choose to connect daily. And what this allows you to feel is a more expanded state of yourself that you might not have been able to come into yet by yourself or you just weren't aware. So now I'm feeling stuff open up in your chest. Do you feel that? Then I'm burping a little bit. So we're starting to open the heart. We're grounded. We're opening the throat. Keep going and let me know what's coming up for you now. What comes through for you in this expanded state? What thoughts and inspiration and energy is coming forward for you? Are you feeling more confident? Or are you being able to tune into a sense of why you where you can grow into more confidence because you're feeling more expanded energetically. Radiant. Let the fairy's energy come through and support you. Be curious about the drama. Don't plug into it. Let yourself illuminate. So that heart chakra is continuing to open. So of course the first card we pulled, <laughs> Michelle, was get clear, which is what we're doing right now. As I tune in with you, and you feel your heart expanding and yourself feeling grounded, you will automatically be clearing your field. And it's in my intention that every time I tune in with any one of you, as guided by your higher self, your whole auric field is cleared and activated to your own highest self resonance. And this happens like this in an instant. This part's easy. The hard part is day to day learning to do this for yourself and sticking with it and staying the course again and again and again to the results that you're being guided to. And that's the work that we do together in my containers. You see? So get clear so you can come into fulfillment. Hi, Nanda. You're coming into fulfillment, the 10 of cups, like everything coming in. As you get clear, <laughs> you're coming into fulfillment. I love how the cards are just totally repeating the message that I was bringing through. Of course, they're just a reflection of the guidance that we're receiving, right? So, um, okay, so your heart is still expanding, Michelle. Do you feel that? I'm looking to see. Of course, they're just a reflection. What comments are here? You think so, you're completely changing your identity. Yes. Yes, we all are. We're all shifting so rapidly. We're all letting so much go. So now your body is pulsing. Okay, so I'd like you to set a powerful intention in this energy and let, the, let yourself see what happens in this energy, what inspiration comes through. Now I'm feeling a lot of energy, like the heart still not wanting to fully open and your chest energy is sort of um, tight, right? Do you feel that? There's a little bit of panic and anxiety that wants to clear. And this is us just connecting right now on this live stream. Can you imagine when you actually invest in the experience and we get to do this day to day to day until you fully know what it's like to be in your highest resonance and clarity and confidence and connection to your highest being? 
want each of you to come through and just feel that over and over again and to give that to those in your life because we're so powerful. We're all sitting around with these stories of lack and scarcity and difficulty that we've all lived, but we don't have to choose to stay in that energy or vibration. We can choose how we shift our energy and that shifts everything. Oh, that's a tough milestone, I'm sure. Yeah, I can feel that in your heart, that grief wants to release. And I've worked with a lot of clients on releasing the energy of grief so that you can be connected with them in a beautiful, loving way and not be hanging on to pain. Um, they don't want us to feel that too. Yeah, grief is a really, my brother passed in 2014 and I'll just have these moments where I'll just feel it, you know? I feel you on that. So yeah, your heart chakra really does want to have um, more expansion. It's like a little bit of tight, uh, tightness and it wants to open up um, more expansively. So is there anybody watching the stream right now besides Michelle who hasn't connected in with me and would like to experience this today? And Michelle, I'd love for you to join us in my free group, Valtopia, if you've enjoyed this experience. I'd love for you to check out the 30-day 5K offer if that's something that appeals to you or my 90-day one-to-one. I do have, um, I have one space um, available and um, this is the work that we do together of just being in our best vibration, our, our most powerful choices, our um, heart space, our love and our compassion, our creativity, and our ability to create motherfucking money when we desire. We are powerful creators. Money is just an energy. We have all these stories around what's right and wrong around it, and really it's just about us being in our best energy and asking for what we know uh, aligns to our mission and our purpose. It's, it, we, have, we all have the ability to be prosperous and healthy and wealthy and loved and loving and fabulous, honey. You feel me? So, Michelle, this energy's still running. You're allowed to play in it as long as you like. I'm gonna disconnect from your energy field now and um, let you, you know, explore what this feels like to you um, and uh, reach out if you, you know, as you feel called to do this work with me each of you that are watching. Um, and is there anybody else that's new? And then I'm gonna go into Valtopia. God, what is wrong? I'm seeing all these comments later. Oh, I blocked the wrong Robert. Jeez. Um, Sorry, I'm cleaning up my feet. I guess I'll do that afterwards. <laughs> People are so weird. Like, why would somebody need to come on to the stream and call me a bitch, you know, and that I'm, I look like a man and stuff? Like, what? what's the point? <laughs> Thankfully, I feel love and I am loved everywhere. Um, let's all send that poor guy some love. He's obviously quite disturbed. Um, all right, so thank you everybody. Come into my free group, Valtopia. I'm gonna do some readings and hang out in there. And um, listen, there's only a few days left to sign up to this. There's two places left. We start on Friday. 30 days, one on one with me for only 2999. It's crazy, it's a beautiful value and you're going to achieve this goal. When I set intentions with my clients, they come in. We have gone from zero to 30,000 in a group. We've quadrupled incomes. We've received $40,000 checks. We've gotten pregnant. We've gotten married. We've released grief. We've done it all. We set these intentions and we uh, rise up into them. So this is for you. If you're feeling called, take the leap, believe in yourself, back yourself, and do this work that you come to do. Be your limitless self right here, right now. This work begins with your confidence in the stream that's coming through you and opening up the clarity to the, your channel, right? Okay, thank you everybody for joining me and connecting with me and loving on me when there's weirdos in my feed. Oh, Brooklyn, I'm gonna go live in Valtopia, okay? Watch the replay, but I'm gonna go live in, um, in Valtopia right now. So if you haven't joined my group, please join it because we have some good Bad -ass, hot, rich hot badasses in there. And um, thank you so much. Own your frequency, there's nobody like you. 
Your confidence comes from yourself, and if you're having trouble tapping and tuning into it, you very well could be blocked and attached to other things, and you might need some support to clear. So talk to me, honey. I got you. Own your frequency. There's nobody like you. Bye.